I believe in me. I believe in me. I believe in you. I believe in you. Stand strong. You are powerful. Stand strong. You are inspiring. We are fighters. We are ambitious. We are extraordinary. We are conquerors. Simply, Simply straight, straight talk. talk. Our, Our voices, voices will, will be heard. heard. This is Simply Straight Talk. Yeah. Tune in now, you don't want to miss out. Real conversation, plenty motivation. Uh-huh. Keep you thinking and still entertaining. Yeah, I know that you'll enjoy the Mido's free. Your voice is your choice. Hosted by Reggie B, but you already know. And you gotta check them out and how we roll. Hey, ain't nothing off the table. Give it to you straight. Changing your mindset, talking past mistakes. You ain't gotta wait, time to take off. This is Simply Straight Talk. I'm Melissa, and this is the Simply Straight Talk podcast, where we engage in solution-based conversations with tips on how to overcome and move past the challenges and struggles we face in life. So join in, and let's show the world you got what it takes. It's showtime. Let's hop on this train of motivation. Hey, everybody, and welcome to another episode of the Simply Straight Talk Show. This is your host, Reggie Man, and today we're going to talk about expectations and obligations in relationships. As we know, in modern times, a lot of things have changed in regards to how people feel and what they believe a relationship should be, especially the time frame in which a relationship gets to the point to where people should start offering up their resources to other people that they feel they are in a relationship with, be it friendship, be it marriage, be it dating. The thing about it is I think a lot of people are wanting relationships to be at a point of which people have known each other for 15 and 20 years, but people want that in a week. They want it in a day. They want that bond that they can say, okay, We have that bond, like we've known each other for that amount of time, like for years, and they don't have it. They don't have that trust because I think people, just as a part of human nature, they want somebody they they can connect with. They want somebody that they can say, this is my confidant. They want that person that they know they can have crazy moments with, be vulnerable with, and be honest with. But the problem is people are trying to rush the process and it doesn't work like that. And it's very unfortunate because not only when it comes to dating and marriage, but like I said, with friendships, people get into these relationships to where they introduce themselves to somebody and they automatically feel like we are now bonded together. Whatever you have, I have a right to have access to. And the problem that comes from this is that When people have these expectations, they can either push other people away or people can start to feel like this person is only out for one thing, like they're trying to take from me. And it puts unnecessary stress and tension on a relationship because people can feel like if I am your friend, okay, we're cool. We just met. I've known you for a couple weeks and you seem to be a cool person. But now you're having these sort of expectations that I'm supposed to say certain things or do certain things or support your views or ideas about certain things when I don't really know you that well. I don't know you enough to say I can put my name on you or I can back you in certain things. And that's what people want these days. That's what they're expecting from somebody that they just met or just started talking to for a couple of weeks. They want that from that person. But the same thing also goes when people are getting into relationships that are of love interest. People are meeting somebody and they're wanting the whole grand, love, romantic, luxurious life of a relationship without investing the time, without being able to say, we built something to where we have a bond. We've been through some things. We understand each other. And when this happens, it creates extra problems that are just really unnecessary and it brings about drama. You know, when people have known each other for one or two weeks and they're already saying, I love you. When people have known each other, you know, for one or two weeks and it's always like, 
oh, well, you know, as a man, you should be doing this. As a woman, you should be doing that. But the fact is, you're still in the process of getting to know each other. So when you put these expectations on someone and start saying you are obligated to do, to do this because I'm with you, are you really with that person at two weeks? Because you're still trying to get to know them. You're still trying to figure out who they are. You don't even know if you two are actually a good match. But people now are just really fixed with the mindset of everything is fast and in a hurry. When you put expectations and obligations on people that you really don't know very early in a relationship, whether it be a friendship or love interest, you are really going to create a problem for yourself because you're going to find that you're going to start to feel disappointed about that person. You're going to be disappointed in their actions, in their behavior, and their disappointment, your, well, your disappointment in them should not be about them. Because you set yourself up to be disappointed because you came into this friendship or relationship with these expectations. The expectation that this person should say and do this, they should know what you think, know how you feel. And when you talk or expect certain things, they should feel obligated to do it. And you are creating an environment to where half the time the other person may not even be on the same page as you. They may think you're a nice guy, a nice girl. They may think you're cool, but it just may not be to the point to where they feel like as we are friends. Now, me personally, I have a strong sort of belief about who I consider a friend and who I consider an associate. A big problem for this comes when people are on jobs. A lot of times people work with people and they start to feel like, you know, we're friends, we're friends. Tell me about your personal life. You know, when you're on a job, you're a coworker and people get offended by that. But the truth is, there's nothing wrong with it. As coworkers, you simply go to job to do your job and you have small talk, surface level conversations. There should not be an expectation that your coworker is going to be your confidant or your friend or your lover, that your best buddies. Many people go to work and they only really associate with some of their co-workers at work. That's not a friend. And then you have people who get offended because you don't discuss your personal life or private life with them because they have false expectations in the workplace regarding the relationship that truly exists. Because in their mind, they're saying to work here, you got to be my friend. We're, co- we're friends. We work in the same job. We're friends. And that's not true. The biggest issue we have with creating these expectations and false obligations is that we are trying to create and make people fit into a mold that doesn't work. We're trying to bring people into our lives, make them fit into a space, and we're trying to force ourselves into their space so we can say we have this bond, we created this bond, when truthfully it does not exist. It's it's, doesn't exist. Doing things like this is harmful, not only to you emotionally, but it also creates problems down the road because you could have actually burned a bridge with somebody that could have been a good business partner, a good friend, or possibly could have been a relationship that you really should have been in with somebody, but you failed to allow time for the relationship to develop because you're trying to rush the whole thing. You're trying to make these people be something that you want them to be. And instead of, instead of allowing a relationship to naturally build and develop emotionally, you are really draining yourself because you're constantly on an emotional roller coaster up and down about who they are. Are they really what you need? Uh, why didn't they do this? You're questioning things. And you'll find yourself really moody around them. And sometimes people will sort of push away from you. Because when people get moody, they simply don't want to be around you. You have to be mindful of that. You have to pay attention to that. All right? Just want to put that out there. That's just a little short snippet 
of today's show, man. So I hope y'all appreciated this. Appreciate <laughs> uh, the topic today and the discussion. I'm going to go get my tongue fixed so I can talk properly. But y'all stay tuned, man. We got more shows coming of the Simply Straight Talk Show. I hope you guys are enjoying the content that we're putting out. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a good comment, and I will see you guys next week. Peace! Thanks for joining us on this episode of the Simply Straight Talk podcast. Remember that you can join our email list at simplystraighttalk.com for more fun solution-based conversations. From the Simply Straight Talk crew, stay positive and we'll see you next week.